What is going on guys? It's Dakota from D Caldwell Photography and in today's video we're going to be talking about photography meetups and if they're worth it or not. Let's roll the intro. Recently, my buddy Jordan and I went down to Chicago for a large creative meetup hosted by Jay Cherry. It was a great experience and such a fun time. Seeing a lot of creatives from various parts of the U.S. in one place for the same reason is a pretty dope feeling. So let's dive into a few reasons why you should maybe consider attending a photography meetup. Meetups are a great way to build your portfolio and expose new content to your audience. At meetups, you are able to work with various people to create some amazing work. Just politely approach someone and ask for their permission to shoot. Everyone is there for the same reason. I attended one of Jordan's meetups a little into my photography journey in 2019 and that was the first time I shot with anyone outside of my wife. And that shoot gave me the courage to then approach models and creative later for other types of work. I don't think I can stress enough how many new people I've met through meetups and continue to work with later on. One model in particular that I shot with in 2020 from a meetup showed her brother my work and then he booked me as his photographer for his wedding later this year. So I think it's safe to say that networking definitely leads to making money, which is what any professional wants to do. So you're taking a picture of someone at a meetup, you get their social media handle, and you follow each other. Usually you're shooting in a crowd of people at meetups and you're all focused on the same subject. So in that process, why not grab that photographer's social media as well and give him a follow? How much can you like balance on here? Okay, let's give it a try. We all enjoy the interaction from our followers and the more followers that we have means the more interaction that we're going to get. Also, networking includes meeting people that you already follow on social media but never met in real life. At this Chicago meetup, I met so many people that I normally interact with on my IG and YouTube videos. It's such a great feeling. While you're watching everyone else work, it's nearly impossible to not continuously see things that make you go, oh, I never thought about doing that. For the most part, all of these other creatives have been slowly building their styles and skill sets by just trying things. It's super cool to be able to pick people's brains and processes that they've developed over the years, even if it's just sitting back and quietly watching someone else do their thing. It's even cooler being there while someone is shooting and then seeing the finished product pop up online and being amazed on how great it turned out. Don't be shy about asking questions either. How you enjoyed the magma? I know it can be a bit intimidating being around a lot of seasoned shooters, but at one point we were all in that same position. And most of us wish we had someone there that could have explained the basics to us back when we started. So I ask questions, engage in random photography convos, and most importantly, just learn. We were at Ping Tom Memorial Park in Chicago, and though it's a large area, when you have close to a thousand folks there at the same time, it can get pretty crowded, especially when everyone wants to shoot within the same area. So here's what you do. Grab a model, go find another spot within the area that's less crowded, and go to work. That looks just everything with the sun. Oh, yeah, that really looks nice. Okay, we're, we're, like it. we're gonna work this, okay? okay. <laughs> You want to try to be as diverse as possible with your images because the rest of the creatives that are there are also shooting within the same spots as you. And even if you are still using a popular spot, try posing your model differently too. You can switch your lens choice from tight to wide or vice versa, or you can even try certain angles to give your photo another look. 
Meetups definitely test your creativity and give you the opportunity to try different things. For example, I'm usually only shooting with one model at a time, even for meetups. So I saw two ladies who are best friends and asked to shoot with them. You can try all sorts of different shots when you're shooting with two subjects, but we'll make a separate video on that later on. Stay tuned. Overall, meetups have their purposes and it's not going to be for all photographers. Some people just like working in smaller one-on-one -on -one situations. Some people may not prefer large groups of people. And also, some folks, depending on their skill level, may not feel that meetups suit their style of work anymore. Personally, for the few meetups that I attend, they're primarily for networking. Yes, I got some awesome shots with the Sony A1, but I really just wanted to talk to other creatives from across the states and meet new people that I could potentially work with down the line. Meetups serve multiple purposes for multiple people and that's why they exist. They expose you to new ideas and new shooting techniques. You're able to check out new places that you may not have been to yet. And of course, meeting people. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on meetups in the comments. We also have a bunch of A1 content coming, so make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Thanks again, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.